hello everyone this is unreal new uh, sorry guys i haven't been able to upload uh, videos for a long time now but now i finally get the time to actually like make some videos in my spare time i will continue uh, uploading uh, tutorials um, at least i'll try at least uh, uploading uh, two videos every month and <clears throat> now also that Unreal Engine 5 is available uh, we'll be doing most of our projects using the Unreal Engine 5 so I'm really excited and <clears throat> in this um, from this lecture we'll start a new project uh, this one will be a horror style uh, game that we'll be making in the Unreal Engine 5.1 okay so let us get started So once the browser opens up, click on games and choose the third person template and let's call it horror game. Uh, make sure it's in blueprints and create. So they have made some changes like um, really good changes with the Unreal Engine 5. So if you uh, play, you can see like they have the foot IK. Um, foot IK system um, already implemented on the mannequin. So that is really good. And also uh, they have some uh, new um, things that they have implemented in the anim graph. Uh, sorry, in the anim. Uh, blueprint so let's go check that uh, click on the mesh and then in the anim class uh, click on this browse button uh, it will open up your content drawer you can also open that one with uh, control spacebar on and off so <clears throat> let us open up this and you can see this is a child of the ABP Manny so we'll just open that one up instead and now you can see like they have some changes over here now they are actually using the blueprint initialize animation which is the equivalent of the begin play so now they cast uh, the character and store it in a variable and also get the character movement and store it in a, um, a variable as well so now for from the tick they check if it is valid and then they get the speed this is similar as Unreal Engine 4 and the falling state as well it is similar but this thing they have added um, in this Unreal Engine 5 is like the animation should only play if the speed of the character is above 3 and the current acceleration is not equal to 0 okay only if these two things are true only then it should move otherwise it should not play the animation at all so uh, uh, let's actually understand this part a bit um, so like if you unplug and plug this one directly over here and press it zero so if your ground speed is more than zero it should actually play the animation right so now if I just tap the W one by one I mean like tap W uh, continuously you can see like it's still walking right like this but now if I just plug it back in to how it was and then go back and try to play and do the same thing with the W you can see the animation isn't uh, playing properly I mean not continuously sometimes it just doesn't play the full animation it's just the idle animation and he just moves forward that's it but if you press the W a bit longer then it starts working so that's what it does actually um, this is a very minute change that they have done but one of the major changes that they have done is to the anim graph 
now they are actually fully utilizing the caches slots and the control rig as well for the ik so the locomotion state machine has the idle and the walk run that we usually have from um, our animation and uh, if we click on it you can see the idle animation over there and this is the abs animation blend space for the 1d animation as you can see like this and also before it was shift uh, shift to actually move this preview point now it's control and <clears throat> also uh, one other thing is if you click on the main state you can see like uh, now they have two groups over here in like before we had from locomotion we do the jump then from the jump we go to the fall loop fall loop and then from the fall loop we went to the land and then to the lo locomotion right so that's how we had it before but now they have <coughs> these are the states okay and this is what they have added uh, recently and that is the state alias so let us understand what it is so if i uh, click on the two land state alias you can see uh, some states over here already locomotion jump fall loop and land so you might be wondering how they came over here and it's just like if you just add the state and just name it let's say crouch and now click it again on two land you will see crouch is over here see so now if i delete it and crouch is no longer here so it's just the states that shows up over here when you click click on a state add on a state alias and click on it it will just show up over here so how this works is so uh, you have a um, two land state alias and it has a function i mean uh, sorry it has a uh, what you call a transition rule so this transition rule is is falling not uh, so it should not be falling so if it is not falling then it will go to the land okay so <clears throat> from now if you click on it the state alias of to land so from here you can see uh, it calls the jump and the fall loop so what it means is take this one to jump okay the first one that you have to jump so now this is what it means actually without mm, uh, if you uh, went back to Unreal Engine 4 um, if you do not want to use the state alias or if you understand want to understand how it works this is how it works so like right now if you just uh, put it up, uh, make a transition rule from jump to land like that and then just <clears throat> give the is not falling like this uh, transition rule if you put it like this and then the next part is the fall loop so if you go to the fall loop and from here make a transition rule to land so now if you just put it over here is falling is not falling like this and then you can delete this one so that's what it meant okay and again if you uh, want to check how the two falling is done it's done the same way uh, two falling goes to locomotion and land so what it means is from the locomotion it will have one for the jump over here like this mm, let me move this so you can get this transition rule from here and add it over here like this okay and then again uh, you can have another one from locomotion to fall loop because that's how it would have as you can see uh, locomotion yeah so like this as you can see one goes over here one goes over here so we made one from here as well and this one will have the transition rule of falling like that now go back and then the second part is to the land right so again if i bring it over here to land as you can see so it will go from 
land to jump like that and that will have this logic over here transition rule, rule over here and then the next one would be from the land to the fall loop like this and this one will be the transition rule for this and then you can go back and then delete this to falling compile save and go back and now you'll see it works the same way see nothing's broken it works how it was working even with the state alias if you jump from here see it's jumping properly playing the animation playing the land animation everything's working completely fine so this is what it meant means to have the state aliases i mean uh, uh, as you can see this one actually uh, looks a bit dirty so that's why they implemented the state alias so we can have cleaner code using blueprints uh, but then again like this one might be a bit difficult to understand for people who are uh, new to Unreal Engine and are working with this if um, they don't have the proper knowledge so um, you can either um, use state aliases if you are comfortable with this uh, or otherwise just uh, break it down like I did and then use this use um, the states okay so for this uh, lecture I'll just uh, end it over here uh, since I don't want to make the lectures uh, bigger and also uh, from the next lesson we will be actually starting our logic for the horror game this was more like a overview of the Unreal Engine 5 okay so thank you guys and I will see you in the next video